taken by Perrett all the way back to Malarkey. Mark happy to play the ball across the back four. Eventually comes out to Jones. Oh, that's a poor mistake there. Shot comes in, well taken there by Drench at the first attempt. Didn't hold it though, and it's cleared eventually. Again, it's a long ball up to the back post, headed back inside. Altrincham, uh, shot comes in again, it's saved by Drench. Took a deflection off the defender, which took all the pace off it. Perry battling with the ball, trying to win the ball there. Osbuck, Marriott can't get there. Ball breaks to Cameron Murray in midfield. He's able to bring the ball forward. Gets it out onto the Weymouth left. And again, shot's going to come in. Great effort come in. Again, Drench has to make another save. That one did have some power on it. And in the end, he's able to uh, collect it. But a good shot there coming in from about 25 yards. Yeah, he's had more things to do than he had on Saturday already, Stephen Drench. And he's done them all uh, perfectly competently. Now then, Kosselo, room to run at the defence now. He's got Colclough, plays forward to Kosselo. Can he get a cross in, gets to the byline, goes past his man well. Can he get a shot in, he can! Yeah! It's a fantastic goal by Matty Kosselo. Did the one-two with Brian Colclough, got to the byline and he's curled it past Rockstick Simons. Altrincham's opening goal with just under 10 minutes on the clock and a fantastic finish. Absolute genius from Matty Costello. Nice work from Ryan Colcroft to put him in, but he had so much to do. Cut inside one man, and from what looked like an impossible angle, he absolutely rifled it into the top corner. Not a prayer for Fitz Simons in the way of goal. And uh, he was in the National League team of the week at the weekend. He'll be in the National League team of the week again if he does things like that. Well, that's his uh, third goal against them this season. He scored two in the 4-1 win at uh, Weymouth back in November. But it's uh, cut out there by uh, the captain. The situation uh, almost uh, got caught out there, but uh, Tyler Cordner managed to deal with the uh, the danger. And then Kolka hits the ball inside. Kosselo, he's got room to shoot. A oh second yeah, goal for Matty Costello, played in again by Ryan Colclough, acres of space, 20 yards out, managed to curl it past Rockford Simmons and Alton Matula nil up in 15 minutes. I think Weymouth have probably already seen enough of Matty Costello this season. Against them. Really, they gave the ball away very careless Full advantage, lovely pass to Matty plenty of space. Obviously full of confidence after that first goal. And beautiful a curled finish past Fetch Simons. Mooney now just inside the Weymouth half. Gets it out to Perrett. Perrett down the line to the goal scorer. Cosillo. Cosillo stumbles, but uh, and uh, oh it could have played advantage there, I think. So Alton have the free kick. Mooney swings it in, headed on, and it's in. It's uh, Jake Cooper got on the end of it from the free kick, six yards down. Jake guided it into the back of the net. 26 minutes gone, Altingham three, Weymouth nil, and Jake Cooper gets his first goal of the uh, of his career at Altingham. Yeah, and to be honest, if you wanted an insight into why Weymouth are in the relegation zone, I think their defending in this game so far has uh, been um, pretty clear evidence of that. Uh, free header for Cooper on the edge of the six-yard box. Well, we had Perry out on the uh, right-hand side, but uh, decided against it. That's held up in the wind. It's not going to reach Mooney, but Mooney does win it back. Gets it forward to Colclough. Colclough now, that's going to be a foul, surely it is. Free kick comes in, and it's straight into the midriff of uh, Ross Fitzsimmons there. 
So yeah, we've got one Weymouth player with no number. We've got one Weymouth player with the wrong number. It's getting very confusing. Oh, that was almost uh, an own goal or a flick yeah, over that for Mooney, who was uh, closing Fitzsimmons down there, but uh, Weymouth were able to get away with that. And that was uh, a bit of a let off there. Now then, Hugo does well. Now then, cuts inside, beats one, still going, gets it back to goal club. And there's Cold Club, makes it four in the 49th minute. Excellent work by Jordan Hume, laid it back for him. There was Cold Club unmarked to slide the ball past uh, Fitzsimons and make that Altrincham four, Weymouth nil, and uh, we're still not up to half time. Well, another good goal, but oh, that defending is just a bit. Again, they give the ball away. Jordan Hume does a great job. Beats a couple of men, wasn't selfish. Played it off to Ryan Coltsworth, who in this league is probably the last man you want running onto if you're a defending team. Good challenge, though, by uh, Cooper. It uh, breaks, though, uh, on the far side to Musa. Musa, one of two Weymouth subs. It's That's going to be a free kick. As Musa lines up the free kick, Drench punches it away, punched it straight out, which uh, wasn't necessarily what he would have wanted to do. But in the end, it's uh, lofted high and wide by Tom Blair. And uh, a solid enough save by Stephen Drench, but I think he would probably have preferred to punch it out towards one of the corners. This is ball down the right to Blair. Blair turns it on to Rose. Rose spreading play. <laughs> Kept in play by Bearwish. Cross from Bearwish to Murray. Murray lays it back nicely. Shot comes in. Murray. Worked hard tonight, but not quite come off him. That was a poor ball, and Andy White read it well. White into Hume. Hume's got Cosolo uh, alongside him, looking for a hat trick, of course. Hume lays it out to White. Mooney wants it. Oh, nice. Jordan Hume into the penalty area. Mooney straight oh. at the keeper. And that's the best thing Oxford have done in the second half. Osborne plays that forward. Cooper's got another challenge on there. And uh, he wins it again. Nice flick on by Costello. Co Costello's amazing in the air for his height. As Mooney plays oh, it through, on. looking for Costello. Costello over hits his first touch. He was on for his hat trick there. That was just a wonderful move. Rose and uh, Musa, player one, two, the two substitutes. Good challenge again by Marriott. He works so hard in that midfield. Colton, mm -hmm. great ball to Leach Smith, who's well on side. Mooney Mooney's needs to stay into the penalty area. Leach Smith holds it up. He thought about shooting, gives it to Pringle. It bobbles, to be fair to him. Mooney lays it back to Osborne. Osborne shoots. Oh, what a save! Great shot, great save. Elliot Osborne so close to his first goal for Altrigan, but Fitzsimons makes a brilliant save. Yeah, it was a great effort there, and uh, Rock Simons did really. Uh... Time and again taking the ball off Weymouth in their half. And that's been one of the keys to this comfortable victory as Jones plays that down the left to Colclough. Ball forward to Leach Smith. Oh, beautiful play. Jones going down the left hand side. Good cross comes in. Ben Pringle wants it on his left foot. Gives it to Mooney. It is. And Mooney makes it 5 0. And that's another great goal by Altrigan. Superb play down the left hand side. Goldclough to Leach Smith, to Jones, to Pringle. And Pringle puts it on a plate for Dan Mooney. 5 0. And to be fair, that does not flatter old Trigham. It certainly doesn't, and it was great play uh, down the left-hand side to start with. The ball was played into uh, to Pringle. It just looked as though he'd got it stuck under his uh, feet for a moment, but he managed to dig it out, get it out to Mooney, and uh, Mooney was there to uh, put it in the in the back of the net to make it 5-0, and uh, thoroughly deserved, as you say, Mark. Which Mooney will take, looking for Lee Smith. Flicks no, it on. Is. Fitzsimons keeps it in play. The final whistle goes. And uh, Fitzsimons uh, launches one into the allotment. Uh, and Altrigan have absolutely wiped the floor with Weymouth this evening, to be fair. 
4 0 up at half time. Costello 2, and uh, goals from Cooper, Coldclough before Dan Mooney put the uh, tin hat on it.